Hey guys, it's Shane here from Laser Gaming. In this video, we're starting off with some Hardline in the beginning because I want to talk about something that really Hardline was the only Battlefield that really attempted to do it, and that is competitive Battlefield. Can Battlefield ever be competitive? Now, this sort of an Easter egg, this video is actually featured in an old video. Um, this was posted a while ago, and I'm going to just do a spur of the moment $5 giveaway to anyone who can find the title of this video. You can go back and find the title of this video um, of some rescue on Battlefield Hardline. Um, I will give you $5 on PayPal, so the first person to comment that down below, I will be giving away $5 to uh, just put your email address. If you just put the name of the video and then your email address under it, and I'll send it to you. Uh, I just sort of want to do uh, these sort of giveaways on sort of like throwback videos that I have. I'm going to show old footage oh because I just think they're pretty fun uh, for you guys and for me as well. But in the background, I also have some Call of Duty gameplay from World War II and Black Ops 4. Um, just because one World War II has a decent rank system in the game, um, and then Black Ops 4 actually seems like it's trying to be um, more competitive than any COD has been in a while, and I don't really see that coming out in the Battlefield franchise. Now, a main discussion that's going um, on in the COD community is that one of the main reasons why um, competitive viewership is so low is because people are playing a different game than the public match oh game. Um, in no, Call of Duty, competitive has typically been 4v4, um, whereas public matches have been 6v6. Competitive also bans out a lot of stuff like trip mines, UAVs, and stuff like that um, to make it more quote unquote competitive. However, to a new viewer, this is alienating because they can't play the same game that all the pros are playing. Um, and so, what they're trying to do in Black Ops 4, it seems like, is they're trying to make the game. Um, competitive at its core um, or at least more competitive so that you don't they don't really have to change up the rules too much um, for true competitive play in the Call of Duty World League. Now Call of Duty pours millions of dollars in competitive each year um, Battlefield simply doesn't and I think one of the main reasons why Battlefield um, really won't do well in esports unless it's truly overhauled is because you're never going to have 32 v 32 esports. Um, it's too hard to organize 32 people onto a team, too hard to have 32 people communicating all the time, and it'd just be too hard to orchestrate. Even Battlefield 4 where it was like 8 v 8 or 12 v 12, it was hard to watch because you're like, okay, this isn't really what I'm playing. I'm used to Battlefield being 32 v 32, why isn't competitive like that? I think that's the main reason why it's going to be very hard for Battlefield to become competitive. If they release a truly good Battle Royale game, I think that could gain traction in the competitive scene because Battle Royale um, can be competitive because you can have squads of four that go up against each other even with the high player counts. Um, but as it is, I don't see Battlefield really being a competitive game. and There's nothing too wrong with that. I think Battlefield's a really fun public game, really fun um, just to play, even try hard and just to go for super high kill games. Um, but I find it very hard for Battlefield to build a competitive platform, at least one that would get viewership, because the game just really isn't designed to be competitive. It's designed to have 32 v 32 massive open games, um, and that's just something that doesn't cater too well to competitive. Even in Fortnite, we see it's hard for that game to be competitive because it's so hard to watch it. I mean, people watch it because their favorite streamers are playing, but if it was just some random people playing, people wouldn't be watching it. And it likely that's what would happen in Battlefield. The best players would probably just be some random people that were really good at the game. And it'd just be too confusing having to switch between 64 or even 24 players in a game. Um, the only way it can really be done is in like 6v6 or 5v5. Um, that's really the ideal um, size for a competitive game. If you look at CSGO, Overwatch, um, League of Legends, some of the biggest games are like that. And that's just something that Battlefield doesn't have. And tell me what you guys think down below in the comment section about competitive in Battlefield. Um, it's just sort of something I want to talk about because I love playing competitive in other games. Uh, do you guys think Battlefield can be competitive in the future? What changes do you guys think need to be made? And uh, don't forget that hardline giveaway if you can find the title of that video. But that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.